What if Goku achieved Super Saiyan against Tambourine? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 7? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously, on what if Goku went Super Saiyan against Tambourine, we mentioned that Goku has now met King Kai as he called him over to his planet and from there their training has begun. Goku went and he learned the arts of Kao Ken along with the spirit bomb. While little did he knew Beerus the Destroyer has woken up and he wanted to come and fight Goku to see who is a Super Saiyan God. Once when Beerus came to King Kai's planet, Goku went all out as he used his Super Saiyan 4 power and he fought Beerus but he didn't stand a chance as Beerus went and knocked him out. Beerus went to Earth to find out about Super Saiyan God but everyone there lost their mind and from there Vegeta went and he transformed to a Super Saiyan 3 and he tried to fight Beerus but Beerus went and decked him really hard. Before he can go and destroy the world, Goku arrived as he went and summoned Shenron and he asked him about the Super Saiyan God and from there Goku did the Super Saiyan God root drill along with all the rest of the Saiyan and they powered him up to become a Super Saiyan God. As Goku and Beerus went head to head and from there Goku managed to gain God Key and he tried to hold his own as he summoned whatever power he has within him and he went and charged at Beerus and he attacked him. Beerus really liked Goku's battle and from there he offered Goku friendship and Whis offered Goku to come and train with him inside Beerus' world. Goku accepted his offer as the next part continues here. What if Goku went Super Saiyan against Tambourine Part 7? One week has passed since Goku fought with Lord Beerus and from there Whis came to planet Earth to come and get Goku and Vegeta so they can train together. Once when they arrived to Beerus' world, Beerus was sleeping as Whis gave them a lot of chores and from there their training has begun. Six months has passed since Goku and Vegeta came to Beerus' world and they were training as they have managed to get a lot stronger. While they were training, Whis noticed that Goku was learning very quickly as he was very impressed with him. Back on Earth, Frieza's man came and he used the Dragon Balls as he wanted to summon Shenron and he asked him to bring back Frieza. Once when they did, Frieza came back as they had one more wish and from there they used that last wish to bring back the fighters that Goku has killed 8 years ago which was Cell and Android 13. Shenron managed to go and pull this move as he went and resurrected Android 13 and Cell. Frieza's men were watching Goku his whole life as they studied him and they knew the enemies that he fought and they had this grand plan to make Frieza and Goku's other enemy to come back to life and work together so they can kill Goku and rule the universe. Once when they all came back, they were all cut into pieces and from there they went and put them inside a healing chamber except for Cell as Cell went and he regenerated. Cell was looking on how he came back and from there Frieza man told him everything about Goku and how they shared the same common goal to kill him. Frieza came back as he was all healed up and from there he said, Hmm, since we all share the same goal, why don't we work together and kill that little monkey? <laughs> Fine by me, but first let me go and train. Me too, I want to make my skills a lot more stronger. Android 13 came back. And from there, he decided to go and train with Frieza and Cell too, so that they can all go and kill Goku, Vegeta and the rest of the Earthlings. One year has passed since they went and trained. Goku and Vegeta has gotten a lot stronger. Vegeta was able to use something called God Key and even go beyond it, while Goku went beyond God Key and he kept training to get stronger as he was learning the arts of the Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Gohan has joined Goku as he wanted to start learning from Whis. Whis has agreed to train Gohan with him and from there he went and he started to train him while they're all trying to get stronger. A year has passed 
since Frieza has been resurrected and he went and trained with Cell and Android 13 as they were all ready to come towards Earth and have their revenge. Once when they arrived, Piccolo, Krillin and the rest of the Z warriors sensed his energy and from there they all went towards that power. Once when they got there, Frieza saw them as he said, Hmm, so tell me, where the hell is Goku? I want to kill him myself! Hmm, Goku's coming very soon. Just how the hell did you guys all come back? Hmm, we use something called the Dragon Balls. As they all heard a laugh, and from there they saw Cell came out. <laughs> how lovely. You Earthling managed to live out this long just so you can die by my hand. It is very fitting. Everyone got very scared seeing Cell has come back and from there Android 13 came and he said, Well, well, who wants to die first? Tell me. Bring it on, you little punks. Frieza man came out as it went and they started to attack the Z-Force. Piccolo went and he charged at 13 as 13 went and he decked him very hard. While they were all fighting, we saw his staff was glowing. As he went to see it and he saw that Boma was trying to call him. From there when he called Boma, Boma told him everything. As Goku heard and from there he said, What? Hmm, okay, let's go back to Earth, Gohan Vegeta. Now! As they all went and hold on to Goku and he went and Kai Kai Den to planet Earth. Once when they got there, Frieza saw and said, Hmm, looks like the cavalry has finally arrived. Bring it on, Saiyans. I've been waiting to show you this power! What? Frieza! What the hell is he doing here? And why is he golden? Goku! I'm going to destroy you! Hmm, well, well, if it isn't Goku, the one that killed me, now allow me to return the favor. We train just for this day so we can kill you, monkey. Hmm. I'm impressed, Freeze on Cell. I really am. You guys managed to get this strong. But again, I will still be the one to kill you guys. Tch, not without me! I'll end it myself. Not so fast, Vegeta. <laughs> I like your thinking, son. Well, then, let's do it. What do you think? I'll take on you, Cell. Vegeta, you can have Frieza. And Gohan, you take Android 13. <laughs> you read my mind, Kakarot. As they all stared at each other. From there, they all went and they charged at each other. As their power clashed with one another, Goku and Cell battle began. And from there, Cell went and he was showing off his new power while Goku was showing off his Super Saiyan Blue and he went and decked him very hard in the face. Cell laughed as he went and he powered up and he punched Goku back in the guts really hard as Goku spat out blood but from there Goku dodged all of Cell attack and he kneed him in the face while Vegeta went and he started to attack Frieza. Golden Frieza's power was overwhelming Vegeta. Frieza went and he kicked Vegeta in the stomach really hard as he spat out blood and from there he started to punch Vegeta non-stop. Gohan went and he powered up as him and 13 were going at it, 
Android 13 was holding its own against Mystic God Gohan until Gohan started to kick it up a notch and he went and powered up to full and he punched Android 13 so hard as he pierced through his body and from there Gohan threw a Kamehameha wave and he destroyed Android 13 into a million of pieces. 13 has died and from there Gohan went to aid Vegeta as Frieza was beating the shit out of him but then Vegeta went and brushed Frieza off from him while Gohan came to help him and from there both of them charged at once and they started to battle with Frieza. Frieza got annoyed as he went and he grabbed Gohan and he started to beat his ass up while Cell and Goku were going at it. Cell's new power was very strong as he was adapting to it while Goku's power was really amazing thanks to Whis training him. Beerus and Whis has now came as they're watching a battle and from there they saw that Goku, Gohan and Vegeta were losing to Cell and Frieza. As Cell and Frieza went and they powered up together and they rushed at Goku while Frieza went and rushed at Vegeta and Gohan. Goku saw that Cell and Frieza were a lot stronger compared to anything and that even as them working together was very hard. As Vegeta went and he powered up a final flash and he threw it at Frieza as it hit him head on and he fell to the ground. Cell saw that as he went to aid Frieza while Goku decided to go and power up the spirit bomb as he saw it was his only way to beat them. You won't win this battle, Cell! <laughs> oh look, we have a boy here. After trading with Frieza for that one year, having a sparring partner and having your guy Cell getting me a lot stronger, I am now beyond powerful. You guys don't stand a chance against me! <laughs> now let's kill them and destroy Earth! Goku finished powering up the spear bomb as he went and he threw it at Frieza and Cell. They both caught the spear bomb as they went and they threw it back at Goku and from there the spear bomb went and hit Goku head on as Goku has disappeared. Whis and Beerus were very shocked to see what is happening as Vegeta and Gohan saw that Goku was unsensible and from there they went and they used their full power to charge at Cell and Frieza. Cell and Frieza were overpowering both Vegeta and Gohan as Cell went and he kicked Gohan in the stomach really hard breaking his ribs and from there Vegeta tried his best to punch Frieza but Frieza went and dodged it as he went and kneed Vegeta in the face really hard and Vegeta passed out. Once when Gohan also passed out, Cell and Frieza decide to go and power up an attack to destroy Earth. But before they can, a bright light has shined as Goku has now returned. Goku has tapped in to a power called the Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Oh my god! He did it! I tried to train him to use this power and he finally did! As Goku went and he came right towards Cell and he punched him very hard causing Cell to break his arm and from there blood sprayed everywhere. Cell regenerated while Frieza looked and said, What the hell is this? What are you? Goku went and dodged all of Frieza's attack as he tried to attack Autonomous Ultra Instinct Goku but they couldn't touch him. Cell came and he ate Frieza as he also tried to attack Goku at once but none of them were able to hit Goku. Goku went and he decked Cell in the stomach as Cell puked out blood and from there he kicked Frieza very hard as Frieza fell to the ground. Cell got up as he got very angry and from there he went and powered up a huge Kamehameha wave while Frieza went and he powered up a huge attack and he threw it at Goku. Goku stood still as a wave came and hit him but from there Goku flew right in front of Cell as he managed to disperse the wave and he punched him so hard in the face as Cell head came out and Goku began to power up a Kamehameha wave as he went and he killed Cell with it. Frieza saw as he got very scared and he came towards Goku but from there Goku went and grabbed Frieza and started to beat the shit out of him. No one knew just what Goku was using as he saw his new autonomous ultra instinct power and he managed to kill Cell and now from there Vegeta was very angry saying, Damn it Kakarot, just what is his power? 
Frieza has lost his golden power as he didn't stand a chance against Goku and from there he tried to run away but Goku came right in front of him and he kneed him in the face really hard causing him to bleed and from there Goku went and punched his stomach so hard as it pierced to him and all his guts came out and from there Goku powered up a Kamehameha wave and he killed Frieza once and for all. Once when they both died, Goku fell to the ground as he went right back to his base form and he was breathing heavily as he couldn't handle that much pressure in his body. Everyone was very surprised as they ran towards Goku and they gave him a sensor beam. Vegeta looked at him and he said, What was that? Huh? Answer me! <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Hmm. It is called the Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Goku, you have managed to use what the destroyers themselves can't. As everyone was very shocked to see that Goku was able to use the Ultra Instinct. We told Goku to come and train with him as he can help him master it and use it again. Goku agreed as they all went to Boma's house to celebrate their victory and Vegeta was very angry but he made a goal to try to achieve the same power. The earth was saved thanks to the Z warriors and Goku's new power as everyone was now living happily and very peacefully. Find out what happens in the next episode. Make sure you click the bell my Z fans so you'll be the first to know when the next part comes out.